Hello and welcome to the Diet Dr. Pepper series. We are here at Bristol here today, in the Gen 4 of course, as we are every week. And we are just about to get out there for qualifying. Um, I was just testing some 70% break bias. That's what Tracy said he was running, so I was kind of experimenting with that. Because I had been running 62, thinking I would want that extra turn in it. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of undecided. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is move it somewhere in the... Mm, I think I'm going to move it back. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still undecided, as you can tell. I'm going to move it to what I was familiar with. I did more laps with it at 62. If I had more time to mess around with it, I would probably go ahead and uh, try it out some more. But because I kind of tried it out late, we're going to go with what I did most of my practice laps in. And hopefully have ourselves a good qualifying run here. A moment while I focus. Green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first time lap. Outside dominant, I think. Feel very good. One more lap. And I got loose. Well, at least we got a lap in. Yeah, I should have put my all-time optimal in there. Kind of get a, be more confident about how hard I was entering. But, uh, that's okay. Uh, we got a solid lap in that first lap. It should be okay. Be five there right now. Wanted to try to get uh, in front of as much as I could because... Who knows, this could end up being a, uh, a bit of a messy one. Always a potential at Bristol. So we have to watch out. Tracy's got the pole right now with a 14.6. Looking at the times right now. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be so, uh, so much cooler. Seven degrees cooler is what they're saying. So maybe I could have pushed a little harder even. But, uh, apparently I didn't need to because I got, I pushed too hard the second lap and slid, so. Easy to say that retrospect, but. Alright, this is what we'll go with, with for the race. It's another reason I, uh. I practiced my hot lapping with 62% because I like to get familiar with how a car feels, That's two minutes, you know, with one two certain set of settings, I guess, is a way to put that. Um, that way, I'm not experiencing anything unexpected when we actually get into the race. And uh, speaking of getting into the race, everybody will here today. We did not get a full 43 car field or higher. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many we've had, but we'll be able to see here in just a minute whenever uh, qualifying is solidified and we'll be able to see exactly uh, how many spots are out there. But less than 43, less than 44, I guess, is uh, what we have. So everyone will make it. P5, I'm totally cool with that. See everybody who has made it here today. Nick said he is penalizing himself for his driving last week at uh, Darlington. But I have the feeling uh, he uh, wasn't too worried about, about missing this one either. Because it could be, uh, as established, quite messy. So We will see. I'm interesting, it's interesting how many people actually chose to qualify. Because there was the option to start in the back with uh, less than 44 people. And uh, only five people took it, it looks like. So I, I thought about it. I really did. But, you know, I don't really want to be behind the wreck either, necessarily. And it could be difficult to get up front. We'll give a good luck. Everybody, I yell it, unlike everyone else. I put the exclamation. 
I'm just that excited. So, P5 is where we will end up. It is time for warm-up. And we have a total of 32 cars here today. Now a uh, now is official. So, I'll go ahead and skip this for you. So I'll stop the recording for just a moment. And uh, rejoin when it's time to grid up. Alright, we're back. I did some warm-up. Checking out some of the new track conditions. And uh, we are about to get onto the grid. Let me check one last time. Everything's how I want, and it seems that way. Um, didn't get enough to really get a great reading of what the tires should look like. But hopefully it'll be okay. 250 laps here today. Lots of uh, lots of racing to do. Try to get session last up. And uh, I just hope guys are patient, smart, you know, we can hopefully get some long green runs. Team everyone. You have got that five data. additional sets of tyres for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. Track temp is 79. Right. Good yeah, luck everyone. 76. Five additional Last sets of tyres. Good luck everybody. Gavin did the math, I think that turns out to like 40 something. The car number 15. I can't remember what he said. Column. Laps per tyre. Or per set of tyres, not per single tyre. Yeah, let's just put one tire on at a time. Really uh, penny pinch that stuff. <laughs> Hopefully restart won't be bad. Interestingly, is it a first gear start? If we're pacing so slow. Looks like it might be. You have to be really careful with that though. Um, hmm. Yeah, normally we're not doing first gear starts go, in the Gen 4, but there's a lot of gear there to work with. We'll be really easy on it. So you get a really early get ready call here at Bristol. It's all about when Tracy goes. Hopefully we have ourselves a good event. We'll see. My prediction was five cautions for this one. I was I was pretty optimistic. Lots of people expecting more than that. Okay, okay Tari, you ready? Time to do your job. Let's go. Green, green, green. I think first gear was the play. I kind of had to back off a little bit. Those outside lane did not get going at all. I'm on the bottom, which is where I think I want to be. Outside, clear. Trying to save tire. So much racing to, to do. Can't run into. Nearly wrecked me. Pretty lucky that wasn't a wreck, so I'm gonna let him go by. I'm gonna be running Highline right now, that's for sure. Well, we didn't get an immediate caution, that's cool. Five did worry me there with how hard he came up on our rear end. Chad, he did a uh, hosted practice session earlier today, and I'm very thankful for that. It always makes practice a lot more fun. We've got other people in there to uh, compare times to and stuff, so it was nice of them to host that. Are so good. My more detailed prediction was we'll get a surprisingly long run to start with, and then a caution that takes out a lot of people because there's so many people out on track here. 
So far, the prediction's looking correct. Though I wouldn't really call this a surprisingly long run yet. Maybe somewhat surprising, since uh, a lot of people were thinking this was going to be a huge wreck fest. But hey, we're still going. I'm cool hanging out here behind Chad. And the Michael Waltrip machine. <laughs> Got some space behind. There must have been some sort of issue. I swear they were there just a moment ago. Be interesting to see how the tires fall off. I think the five's falling off already. He's definitely pushing pretty hard on the start, I think. He's still running that high line, but it's not getting him uh, as far as it was earlier. I do think this bottom line is going to be what you want to run for long-term pace. He might have also been expecting quick early cautions. And therefore going for that track position as soon as possible. That's not a bad idea. Oh, I got loose out of the corner there. Careful, don't want to heat the tires up. This thing can get very loose on us as well. Are those lap cars up ahead already, or? That looked like a big gaggle of geese up there. That would be very interesting, getting into lap traffic already. Thankfully, we're in a good spot. Seventh. We've lost a couple spots. But. Oh man, oh man, oh jeez. And caution. I thought we were about to see a caution there. I'm gonna slow down a lot because it's very hard to see Rex around the corner here with the really high banking. So slowing down quite a bit. I don't want to give up this track position. It's too early to uh, take tires, I think. And I was pretty good to him. Uh, I would say. So, gonna hang out here. So, roughly 116 laps on a full tank of fuel. I did. I forgot to check beforehand, but it looks like that's what it's kind of adding up to. The lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Pit road is now open. It's open. Got a lucky dog going around the outside. Who's our luckiest dog? I don't know who the 30 is. The See in a moment, I imagine. But Tracy in the lead. Not too surprising there. The 5 uh, passed us before, but I do think he was harder on his tires. He was kind of coming back to us slowly but surely. And I don't remember, I think it was it. I just followed you no, too. Chad, we're going for a challenge. Chad qualified in front of us. I can't remember who else passed us. I think it was the 12th, maybe. Last the first challenge. Oh, Tracy on pit road. I'm sorry if I got in the way of anyone trying to pass me. I've been a lap car. Sorry about that. He got the wall, which scared me a little bit, but he did keep it up there. Other than uh, hitting Dakota a little bit. That was pretty scary, but a different caution came out. So that's interesting. I don't want to put myself back there by any means. Especially this early. So I'm not really interested in doing that. I try to stay in front of, of as much as possible. People don't go down, just take the fuel. I guess to make it to 125 is the idea. Taking fuel there. I just would be really surprised if this went green. Yeah, close pets. I got you. 
How confused do I put me in front of you? Will first gear work again? Or are our tires older now? Guessing you got the close fits car as well, Phipps. Ooh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Single file restarts, though. That should be a lot nicer. Yeah, he must have because he was in front of me. One to go. Nick, okay, come by. Get ready. Race the regime at the end of this. I'm fourth place after the couple of guys pit. So. I must have just missed. Have to go green. Stay focused. I think we we'll lose second gear start. It's weird. I don't know why it would be giving you exit uh, closed, Timothy. I got one too. Always with the scoring issues. Let's see, we gotta go by. It's interesting. But single file restart, we'll probably have to check up a little bit as they start going single file anyway, so second gear is what we'll run with. And it says pit road closed. You have to stop there before you continue, right? The pace car is in. Alright, what's going on here? Green 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 A little bit of a slower start for Chad. Front two get away a bit. Still don't want to kill my tires. I appreciate what you did there, Gavin. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. That was kind of weird what was going on there. Yeah, behind is running the wall. Allen, so let him by if he gets here. A little bit loose there, just a tiny bit. Pretty happy with where we are, I'll be honest. This race is already going much better than expected too. I know we got a caution, but we had a nice 20-something lap run, or whatever it was. Really feel the need to pass Chad. Nice save. I don't know how you save that, Shane. Shane with a save, it sounds like. You got lap know, traffic in the way. <laughs> Just have to be patient with this. The 50 might need to call it. He's having a lot of trouble. You hate to say that, but he's having trouble just not getting into the wall while the leaders are coming by. He wrecks the five again up there. Car outside. Clear. Still not in a hurry. Long race to go, so I'm gonna take my deep breaths and uh, pace myself. They look like they're racing hard for the lead, but it could just be the way it looks because they're taking different lines and stuff. But it does look like the 12, for example, trying to get to his inside, maybe sliding up. Well, Tracy and Shane, it sure is entertaining following you, dude. Side by side, still making me nervous. Got a lap car up ahead, Just being patient here. As everyone has to get by the 14. 
He seems like he's doing an okay job holding it down there. It's just uh, tight racing here at Bristol. Quite a fun, really. That's a short track type thing. So we take a corner a little higher there and another caution. Right. Man, wait to steal from me right at the end there, Paul. Good stuff. Checking out for the pace car. Yeah, I was good racing. Half back, 94. Car. Yeah, it was unfortunate that last car allowed me to get by you, though. 86, please, sir. Yep. Never mind. I'll be right there. When the yellow flag came out. All right. Still gonna stay up here. Yeah, we need to remember be careful around the lap cars. Yeah, just sorry. Just kind of indecisive on the lane he was choosing. It's are open. Yeah, that was that turned into a big. Is everybody map coming really in? Fast. All right, if everybody's coming in. About it, I don't think. Pit lane speed limit is 35 miles Yeah, that was my fault. I didn't have experience with that. We'll so I, that was my fault, 100 percent. So single pit road, so we have to drive all the way around. Yeah, once I realized it was going to be bad, I, I got out of it. But unfortunately, he went up. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Get in there. 8989. So feeling good about how I'm doing there. Okay, punch it. They want you in single file. Catch up five, car. So I think we came out yeah, in front out. of that's, that's all I'd be, sorry guys. Chad. Interestingly. Four course yellow, pits are open. Take a look at everyone's tires. So, uh, what's this going to look like here? We've got the two guys ahead of us, and then a couple guys that didn't want to pit again because they probably pit already. That's uh, what I imagine. Past the 50, car. In past the 50. Yeah, they pit like 20 laps ago. So they didn't want to come in again. That's understandable. I don't think it's going to be too huge of a difference on tires. But we might have to watch for it a little bit. We still have great track position. I think a lot of people decided to re-enter the pits. For example, I don't see Tracy in front of us, so I imagine he probably came back down as well. Oh, we got two to go. Yeah. One to go. Next time, by. Next time by. <laughs> One to go right now. Yeah, we just hit one to go. About to go green. Stay focused. That's probably going to scare him here, here and get ready. But, still got uh, half the track to go. I'm going to do the second gear. Remember here. to be careful on the restarts. Yes, good call. <laughs> I don't really see the need to be all the way up to the wall. I just want to see uh, Shane and his jump. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. Slow car down low. D6. Slow car down low. Slow car down low. Really Slow what I want to hear. Back in front, back in front. Holy shit, they're upside down. Like I said, I'm going to be breaking a lot for accidents because it's hard no, to see around the corner. That's scary. Yeah, I went four wide. Why are we four wide? Yeah, I got a front row view of that. That's what he said. We went four yeah. wide. 
Doesn't seem like a good idea. Hack me. I got a pit. I think my race is done. Oh, that sucks. It probably was an unintentional four wide, to be fair. 77, by the way. Keep going I imagine. 77. I imagine it could easily have been someone getting into the wall, for example. I just realized Gavin's number got stolen. <laughs> Is he actually the 77? I don't, there's no rules with that, though, in the series. Not like uh, the truck in IS. Yep, I'm so. Well, you still look that fun tonight. I'll try to catch y'all next week. Mm. That sucks. Uh, kind of what we expected. Yeah, care, a little bit. People uh, Lift up 100. getting so, taken out early. Like outside of the pits in between uh, 3 and 4, that you still have to run the pit speed? Yeah, you have to run the pit speed all the way around. Okay, I was thinking, oh, that's not pits, and I got a speeding penalty, but uh, that's okay, no. I wasn't that far up anyway. These pits are so strange. It feels like in official races, I'm always just guessing 50-50 which pit lane I need to be going into. Yeah, I made that mistake when I had the pit earlier under, uh, under green, and... It caused a penalty. Yeah. Oop. Sorry to pass here. Pits are open. Bottom just ain't that good. No, we need old Bristol. Yeah, why don't they have that? The pit road is closed right now. Pits are closed. I wish they did. I don't know why they don't, though. Like old Bristol would cause more wrecks just because people would hit each other more. At us, I would assume. When did Bristol get the repave originally? I think it was like 07. Just before oh. the uh, over under on cautions again. 42. <laughs> I'll take the over. My prediction of five not looking too good. One to go. Next time by. Okay. I said uh, I'm nine. End of this <laughs> get ready. Going green. But that's why I don't bet. <laughs> not that anyone was putting money on it or anything. But we're all here to be competitive and to have fun. But, uh, I was not going to uh, win on that wager. Thankfully, we have uh, been able to avoid being any in any of it, so it's nice. The base car is in. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. It's a, a little extra tight at the beginning of a run, interestingly, I've kind of noticed. So really trying to use the brakes to get it turned here, and, you know, actually it, it's uh, getting later, so maybe the track's cooling down as well. So I'm going to be extra nice to the right front here. Chad's behind us, He's uh, he knows what's up. It sure seems that way, based on the first run, so I can feel pretty comfortable to run how I feel is best, I think. Great. I think what's best probably not getting loose out of the corner like that. But that's gonna happen once in a while. That's okay. Oh wow, the 12 almost slid up into the 11. That guy's racing pretty hard for this early. Getting it closer than uh, I would personally. I wouldn't even really be fighting side by side right now if I didn't have to. If only for tire preservation. Go on, Alan. Guy going slow on the inside Thanks, for some buddy. reason. It 
that's going to cause a wreck. If anybody's too wide and they can't do anything about it, I lost sight of the 11 there and got worried. Yeah, track is definitely cooling down. I can already feel the handling Clear up top. changing. Car outside. Don't want to be side by side, but he's slower right. Wish he would back off, but I don't think he will. It kind of does, actually. Okay, I didn't give him credit. So already, I feel like... Uh, Hit off there. Oh, he was one of the guys in older tires. Okay, that makes sense. It is a little bit early for tires to be making that big of a difference, I, I thought, but... What I was seeing is it looked like tire difference. So that's what I was reporting. Turns out it's because <laughs> he's one of the guys in old tires. He hung in there pretty darn well. For having 20 lap older tires. Just running a pace. We are in fifth right now. That's kind of gaining on us mid corner. I'm kind of slowing it down a lot. So maybe I'm slowing it down too much. Stick with it for the most part here. I'm trying to be nice to the uh, rear tires too, because I could definitely see if this goes really long, those uh, rear tires getting slidey on exit too. That could definitely happen. Kind of catching up to Andrew there. I didn't even realize that's who that was. Shane having a great run, leading some laps up there, but he's side by side for the lead right now. Five going in and getting it. Bringing him back to us. We've got lap traffic coming, so that should be interesting, especially with two wide up here. Be a little slow down there. You've just done it. And you got guys running, wanting to run both lines too. It's it stinks because there's nowhere for anyone to just be completely out of the way and safe. Might try to get around Andrew. Fight out there, that's okay. We're still running our preferred line. You're back in fourth position. Clear high. Car outside. Chain on our outside now. Go low. Clear high. Tires coming into play, I think. Really uh, helping us out. Those two up there still battling, it looks like. Or uh, pretty close racing, at least. They already have had some side-by-side uh, -side close battles. He's looking to get on his inside again, too. Really trying to turn my steering wheel as little as possible, getting my turn in with the brakes. That was a little bit close. Making sure I'm maximizing my entry as well, so... It's something I, uh, I'm not doing enough of, but making sure I'm as close to the wall as possible so I can get the perfect angle on the corner. I was right back to uh, trying to avoid turning the steering wheel as much as possible. 
But uh, using the banking as well, really high banking here at Bristol, helps carry the car so the steering wheel doesn't have to do it. I think it's working out so far, all these theories of mine. I guess there are hypotheses, come theories, once the data comes in after this race, I guess. Sorry, there's a cheap line. All good. The next car's the leader. Hang out down here. The car on the high side. Clean will get by P2. Not too smooth, you're running second. So far, so good. Chad having a great time moving forward as well. I think it's really working for us. I think our practice really helped. Because we did both do some long runs and talked about what we were uh, experiencing in that hosted practice session. It's looking pretty good right now for us. Just 12 ahead of me. It looked like he was racing kind of hard. Well, I got to leave some lap. I need a caution now. <laughs> Traffic. Coming up, in five, and they're too wide. <laughs> Which is just fantastic. Yeah, but now these 20 lap older tires are hating me. Yeah, I know how that feels. On the inside of this lap car. Clean back out, we're good. Matthew out there. I got confused for a second because it said Gavin's channel name on there, I think. I got confused. I'm like, wait, why is Gavin in the, a lime green car? And also being a lap down. Something happened? That's on me, that's on me. Oh boy, oh boy. My fault. 30 in the wall in front of 12. Outside. Outside is clear. Round him. Car feels good. I think we're doing an alright job. We need some long run, I think. I think I... Oh gosh, the 50 again. Inside. Clear inside. Not gonna hurt my tires trying to pass the 12. Just wait for the tires to... Uh, 50, you have to watch where we're going, man. Bag. Line up, single that's hundred percent my fault. I'm sorry. I spun out, or was going to spin out. Check out for place one. I knew that fifty was going to cause a wreck. He's just too far off pace. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. That's unfortunate. Letter twelve, carbide. Uh, so what did we estimate? Like 119 for fuel? Wouldn't be able to make it to the end. Car 121 got the lucky dog. Let them it's pass open. on the outside. Let the 121 car by. Pit road's open. Follow the 12, I think. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Do it. All right. We'll need to stop again. Unfortunate, our tires were looking good compared to the 12. And I really cooked my tires there. Holy shit, I felt like a cinder block at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Those are known for having bad tires and cinder blocks at the bottom of the ocean. Five. Well, I pit on the first car and stayed out on the second. Two. I was praying for this one. one. I'd rather go yeah. green, but I needed it. I'll share that. I'm feeling good about my tire saving here. Okay, punch it. The leader, Forsef, is pitting. All right. They want you in single file. Catch the 14 car. Ah, oh, Chad, you got a speeding panel there. No. Catch the 12 car. Dad? Nope. Okay. He's good. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. Wouldn't want to see that. He's been doing a great job. He's been following us up forward. 
must have laughed for no reason because my internet cut out and I didn't notice it and it gave me an invalid lap. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to tell you what my tires were. <laughs> Figure they probably weren't too great. It definitely looked like it was going hard right from the start. We got three sets left. We're uh, still on and on good pace. You should be able to get the wave around, Eric. Yeah, I am. All right. It's just that I don't think I even blinked, and it lost me a lap. I was running like 15. And 18. Yeah, that really sucks. Still short on fuel. Somehow I went from 16th to third. One left to green. I guess I might have been wrong about passing. I like the more when Colton and Tracy weren't on my bumper. Go green. Stay focused. <laughs> I think we'll do a first gear start here since we'll just uh, jump right when the 12 does. And it's fresh tires. Gotta be careful on that throttle though. The pace car is off, be ready. Green, green, green. Maybe that wasn't good to go. Face just went up and got the wall, I think. It's racing really inside. aggressively. Inside. Holy smokes, he almost kept and got me. Yikes, man. There's a lot of race left. I'm just chilling out. Caution, yellow flag. Oh my gosh. Line up, single file. Pit road to caution. Pits are closed. Uh <sighs> Unfortunately, this is starting to look uh, like what we were worried about. That was really close. Check up. Oh my gosh, check up a lot. Catch the stop, 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 stop. 86. Car. Well, hold on, let it, let it all get started. Let, let everybody get the hell out of the way. Well, now I'll pile up 12. Like oh my goodness. Car, get the car, 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 well, that's my nose car, car, And that's why I slow down a lot for cautions. Holy crap, I thought I was a gun on that caution. Holy shit. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm not to be just my bias. I just got loose on my hand. Are we clear now? Are we good? Are we good? Lepa, 14. Okay, I think we're good. Everyone's just got to get back in the spots they were in. Can someone give me a damage report on my front? I don't see anything from my rear view. Should be the left front if anything. Is everybody caught up to the face car? Yeah, from out back here there, Tracy, I think you need to stop in uh, at least five minutes of damage. That looks good to me, Tracy. No, oh, it's full of damage, full of damage. <laughs> yeah, I think so, you know. I didn't think I hit him that hard, I just had to slam on the brakes right there. Yeah, thankfully we'd uh, been able to slow down quite a bit before we got there. Got in the wreck, and now I'm the first car behind the hate car in 24th. Pit road is closed. We're under caution. It's closed. All right, we'll do second gear this time. I didn't really like how the first gear ended up feeling there. Just having a shift and being worried about tire spin even more. You'll get the wave around, right, Alan? Slowed it down. You know, I don't do enough of these, so uh, we'll find out here shortly. Yeah, you should get the wave around. Yeah, so I was going to say, you should right. definitely get the wave around. All right. Let's try this again. That looks like a big wreck. I wonder who all was in that one. Sure took him a long time to get back uh, going. 
One to go. Next time by. Okay, Colton. Get ready. I'm glad I'm up here. Got the track position. I think that's gonna just be so important just for survival's sake. Started here, finishing 100 laps. Ice car is in. Wing, 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 wing. Jumping down below me there. Fine though. So I think Tracy wants to get by me, that's fine. He'll be able to get around us. Without trouble, I'm just saving tires. Well, maybe got the wall a little bit there. Just a tiny bit, if anything. It's got some damage too, you can see on the right rear. Alright, slid the tires a little bit, don't want to be doing that too much. And we've already got lap traffic coming up. The 50's still out here, man. Thought he was going to be gone after that last wreck was caused. Oh my gosh. Go high. We'll take one corner, as you can see, that's fine. An excuse to be extra nice to the tires for one extra corner. <laughs> The nine taking our low line up ahead, so we will have to take a higher line here. Maybe he's kind of drifting up a little bit. It's okay. Right. The car on the low side. Clear. That car's too wide up ahead. No, we're good. Well, this is uh, lap traffic's really making this interesting. Choosing different lines too. Some of them are going up, some of them down. Just hitting the wall, I think. Oh my gosh. He might not have, but I thought he was heading for the wall, and I really was worried it was going to bounce off. Keep an eye on it. That was at 15.4. The yellow flag Another yellow. I'm so sorry, that was on me. I did not mean to get that close. Trying to be checking out. I need you up here, uh, 121. Alright, we are okay. I know about me, guys. I hate that. Not quite able to make it on fuel still. We're gonna stay out. To make it on fuel, I believe we would need lap 130. So we're close, but not quite there. Not enough for me to be comfortable. Pit road's open. 130 to... Yeah, Full not even is a little bit of a stretch. Five. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Alright. Chase is doing the fake. Ian getting a lap back. Is he back on the lead lap now? Will we be able to see? He should be. Yeah. Alright, so that's 23 cars on the lead lap. Already down to, uh, well, I guess we didn't have a full 43 car field, but if it were, about half of that, almost.
Tracy's probably glad I'm not having terrible jump in front of him anymore. I'm just a little too nervous on the throttle, I think. When I think Gen 4 and when I think short tracks on restarts, I think tire spin, so just, uh, I'm being extra careful. Probably overly so, but... Chad came in for pits. Uh-oh. Him and Alan, I think, came in. Sinos, maybe? Yeah, it's looking like it, because they were both up pretty far. Yeah, we can almost make enough fuels. Oh, I'm just kind of counting on being able to uh, get another caution. The pit road is closed right now. Yeah, it's closed pit. Out. Pits are closed. That's not a very good pit cycle for him, if you want to call it that. Don't think we'd be able to save fuel to make it to the end or anything like that. We will have to pit again, even if we get some cautions, because we're still, I don't know, 30 laps short. It's way too much to save. But taking a look on at the standings here, you see Gavin back there in 6th having a good run. Shane's still in 11th, even though uh, he was involved in that last one, I think. One lap to green. Race cars in this lap. I'm pretty uh, happy to have a clean vehicle. About to go green. Although green apparently you don't need one, because your leader does not have a clean vehicle. <laughs> but uh, he is there, regardless. Doing a great job. Kevin behind us is the points leader right now, after being incredibly consistent to start the season. He's back up to the front again here. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, green, green. Thanks, man. Slow car down low. Car cut him off low. there. I'm expecting to get there. there. Slow car down low. Clear up top. I'm still trying to save side. tires. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Maybe that's Clear. dumb of me. But car outside. Clear outside if you want to. what I'm doing. Hopefully no one gets into us or anything. Now he's check he's going slower in front of us. Once he got our spot. Oh my gosh, he's really checking up my corner. A little low there, that got a little weird. Get out. Shit in my van. <laughs> saves back there. It's like. Don't know where this guy below me is going to be. Nothing okay, good. I'm going to try to make sure I'm backing it down enough. Track should only be getting cooler and cooler, I think. Okay. We're, halfway to the finish. We're only halfway through this thing. Easy to forget that.
Still feeling good. Top four. Not bad at all. Hopefully doing okay on tires. Feels like it's getting tight though already. So maybe I'm not backing it down enough. I swear I'm going easier than the guys ahead though. Or at least uh, some of them. Really driving away. Sometimes you kind of expect Tracy to just start driving away and lap everybody in the field. Not happening this time, though. Short tracks. That's a thing you uh, aren't too surprised to see on occasion. Though there is still time. Kevin getting up to the 12 there, potentially. Your last lap time was at 15.5. My internet's bad as usual. Ugh. Oh. Hitting me. Lap time was it's not good right now either. Can't be side by side but with anyone right now, that's for sure. That would be very dangerous, especially with uh, how tight these Bristol corners are. I want that to go away right now. Appreciate it, man. You've just done a 15.6. Oh my God! I'm gonna, I'm gonna not, I'm gonna lose a lap. I'm gonna disconnect. Are you kidding me? The internet's basically out. Are you kidding me? I've got to be all over the place right now. This is so bad. I, we reset the internet right before this too because it was already being terrible. Oh my god. I hope... I wonder if anyone's doing anything on the internet. I don't think so. I don't think Andrew can see me. I don't know if he can or not. Well, I just alt f forward because I was going to cause a wreck. So thank you, internet. I'm glad we pay money for this. Unbelievable.